AC Sisterhood. Mm-hmm. He's been exploding in the last couple of weeks, or the last week in particular, and I, I wanted to definitely talk to talk to you guys about it, and, and this is something that we'll sure. continue to talk about, I'm sure, going forward mm. um, for a while. James, you want to give us a bit of a, for those who might not know, what <laughs> is uh, the AC Sisterhood okay. movement? What is the AC Sisterhood? Well, a lot of people obviously have taken this wrong because they've just seen the hashtag on its own. Um, yeah. which uh, I've addressed before, but basically it's the AC Sisterhood hashtag is not to... They're not trying to change the word brotherhood into sisterhood. They're not trying to say that fe- male protagonists are bad and we need only female ones. They're not trying to say that this Assassin's Creed moving forward should be a female franchise, which a lot of people seem to think that's the case. Like, they just want this to now be, oh, let's make Assassin's Creed sisterhood and it's just females and all that, like, change the word and whatever and uh, fucking bullshit. The point is, based on what has happened recently with Ubisoft and their um, treatment of women in their company, in their video games, in the community, and the way... Certain people at Ubisoft. Certain people at Ubisoft, yeah. Not just, you know, the whole company. But um, that... uh, A lot of people that are in that community and and work for the company... um, I would say feel feel betrayed by you know this community they were a part of and something they were a fan of uh, and a company they probably looked up to um, and feel a bit displaced um, and what AC Sisterhood does is it allows for uh, development uh, people women that work on the development teams of Assassin's Creed or just at Ubisoft um, that are in the community of Assassin's Creed uh, or as, as well the characters the female characters within Assassin's Creed it brings light to all of those things supports uh, supports all women and is also a message to Ubisoft to show that you know the ideas that were set up by some of the people at the top um, like Sergei Haskot, uh the women don't sell is simply not true um, and as a community as fans of video games we don't believe that uh, and we support women and it's also a place for the any women to feel, you know, that they've got a place. They've got somewhere where they have a voice as well. Uh, and I think that's important given everything that's happened. And that's the point of AC Sisterhood. The title is a play on words of the word brotherhood because it's related to Assassin's Creed, but it's also related to women. So it's sisterhood. It's just, I think it's a kind of fun name. Um, but that's essentially the premise of what the point of it is, um, Yeah, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And and yeah. It, it's sort of been champ- being championed and um, started by two uh, pe- um, figures in the Assassin's Creed community, uh, one being uh, Cole Preet, um, mm-hmm. who one of the um, mentors uh, in the Mentors Guild, and Sebastian, who's Memento Gallery mm-hmm. uh, on on uh, Twitter, and he made a great like logo and art piece oh, for yeah, it uh, that you know people are putting on their on their banners, but. <laughs> These two have been championing it and just um, really putting the movement on their back. So super impressed with them and happy uh, and proud to support what they're doing uh, as uh, a Four Pillars community because it's a, it's the least we can do and it's true and I don't think we really realize sometimes the uh, influence we can have on people by supporting these sorts of movements and... Um, you know, just being out there and, and, and being a voice and being able to help, you know, defend it and explain it in a good way because it's not um, some a silencing men and it's out, it's women only's time and men need to shut the fuck up. That's not what it is. It's about being a space for women to be supported. This isn't some conspiracy theory against men. Men aren't a yeah. fucking victim here. This is a situation where fact of the matter is there has been serious allegations, serious events that have happened through Ubisoft communities, in particular Assassin's Creed, through their developers, as well as the misrepresentation of women through years of their games from people all the way at the top making just out-of-touch decisions. These things have happened. These things have happened. This is women being underrepresented this is women in these communities and companies and games being underrepresented and mistreated and that's just a it's just a fucking fact it's not some conspiracy theory and this movement is to support that it's to be like hey look we we these things have come to light now to us those who are still here in this community stand with you this is a safe 
community to be a part of you're able to join and feel like you can actually be safe and you're not going to get approached by some fucking creepy developer trying to slide into your dms you're not going to be uh you know abused and you're not going to be misrepresented this is a place where you can feel welcome and supported and it's also like you said champs it's a message to ubisoft women fucking sell they fucking absolutely sell some of the best games of this generation sorry female characters it's just ludicrous it's just so out of touch so ridiculous uh but at this point of what we know from ubisoft and what we've seen from assassin's creed over the most recent years i'd expect nothing less from the high ups that make these decisions at ubisoft is they are out of touch they don't know what the fuck they're doing and mm-hmm. this is where we are so um by supporting it we're just doing our part um and when you look back and think about what female female protagonists we could have had that was female only, like the fact that Evie Fry wasn't a solo only female protagonist is so mm. ridiculous. So oh, ridiculous that, that didn't happen. So much yes. She was genuinely a really fun character. And then you had Jacob that sort of just ruined the fucking game to me. Yeah. Yeah. It it just it, it and it made the setting sort of a joke, it made the game a bit of a joke where you had a solid setting that made sense and it made a lot of sense to have a female um, character be uh, in it. But, again, females don't sell. And yeah. here we are. Um, and they, as a company, made that decision. Sure, certain high-ups made the decisions, but that created this culture of decision-making that has snowballed and continued. And here we are again years and years later many games later and nothing's changed um Mm. and it just doesn't make any sense now it just doesn't make any sense now because we as fans are paying for it even if you want like even if we would have had a male only protagonist next in this next game because it made more sense for the story or whatever i don't know but i want i don't want characters i just want one character i don't care whether it's male or female but the fact that we haven't had a female character yet is ridiculous because it made sense so many times before where we should have had it and we haven't. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm at yeah. with that. That's where I'm at personally with that. Um, and Xiao Yun, why the fuck wasn't AC3 a Xiao Yun game? I think we all are aware of that. Oh, man. Yeah. It's, I don't know. What's, it's Walshie, what's your, th- what's your thoughts on this? I know I know you're both supporters of the AC sisterhood mm. movement. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I think, like... This is one of the nicest things that I think I've seen come out of the AC community because it can be really... I think it's brought out a lot of, like, the toxicity and some of the negativity in the community, but, like, the positives, I feel like it's definitely brought out the best at the same time, which far outweighs that. And I think it was Amir said on Twitter that the community has done more for women in Assassin's Creed, just in gaming in general, than Ubisoft have. And it's really nice to see everyone from different corners of the community come together for like a nice thing it's quite rare but like it is really nice yeah mm. what, what about you joe yeah I'm, I'm on the same board i mean it's it's tough when you see those those people who immediately saw the hashtag and thought oh this is an attack against men this is an attack against like that's never what it was and i've seen some people get their minds changed but there's there's always going to be those toxic people that um you know well and just straight up sexist but it's it is lovely mm. to see the entire so many communities coming together like like Jack said, um, and yeah it's it's like the way Ubisoft have handled it. Obviously, it's been performative. They just put it with trailer, but hopefully that's emblematic of genuine change in the company. I mean things have been moving around. Um, we'll ho- mm. we can only hope to God that it's not just to show to try and like make a make a point. Hopefully it's genuine changes within the company. Mm. Um, from this mm. movement but yeah it's it's amazing to see yeah